Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Nash with 1,198 rating versus Sakadori with 737 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and again, make sure to go ahead and check out Nash's YouTube channel, link down below at the very top of the description if you want to check out his content, and then hopping right in, we are going to see Skadori um, go ahead, win the Rocky vs. the Shoot, decides to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. We got Sleepy Memory, Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler, Pearly, and Rainbow. They have Prosperity, Lady, Psalm Strike, Welcome, and D-Barrier. Oh, well that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, D-Barrier is really good against Pearly. At least they have the Dark World cards that can, like, kind of help beat D-Barrier. You can set up, like, a Nightmare Griffin or something. Uh, which isn't even, like, the greatest card against this deck, but they Prosperity for 6. And then they're going to grab back the big Welcome Labyrinth. And then we can see him banish a bunch of like Super Poly targets. Uh, so probably not main decking the Super Poly then. And then put those all to the bottom. Or maybe they just knew they weren't going to grab it there anyways. So they probably won't draw it. Uh, they draw Prosperity. I mean Lightning Storm will still be good here. It's just D-Barrier is insane. They're going to go activate big Welcome. And then activate Welcome. Activate D-Barrier, call XYZ, so they're going to summon Lovely, and then summon Ariana, bounce back Ariana, all the back row goes, and then Lovely effect to go ahead and wipe a card from their hand, they hit the Purdly, that's actually a pretty good hit, and then activate Sleeping Memory, discard Rainbow, bring out Pur Lily, and then Pur Lily 1, Rainbow 2, go search for the Lucian, and then go search for my friend Pearly. This is just Silva with 100 more attack. Uh, activate my friend Pearly, reveal Sleepy, Sleepy, Happy. Gets the Sleepy to hand. Activate Sleepy, discard Lucian, bring out the Pearly. And now hopefully this Pearly hits. And it does. It actually hits three. Wow. Okay, so they grab Sleepy to hand, put the rest to the bottom. And then Lucian comes out, summon Rainbow, bounce back. And then activate the Sleepy. Discard the Lucian, bring out Pearly, and then effects. So look at the top three, and we hit again, and we hit Delicious Memory. We choose just to grab Happy Memory, uh, which is fine. I mean, we can't XYZ this turn anyways. And then Link into the Sky Striker. Okay, we can use this to go ahead and out the Lovely. So effect, out Lovely, and we have the three spells in our graveyard at least, so this won't leave the field. Summon Rainbow, bounce back Lucian. Activate Happy Memory, discard Lucent, bring out the Per Lily, and then Effect, summon itself out. Okay, then we're going to link off in the Nightmare Griffin. Griffin Effect, discard Dark Ruler, set Happy Memory, and then go Battle Phase. Okay, so we are attempting to put up Exact Game, which will force our opponent to use their one unknown card, being Lady Labyrinth, to summon itself to block the attack otherwise they lose so they're going to take the hundred summons the lady yeah rainbow beat over lucian attack griffin attack i don't i feel like they would have summoned this lady to block something yeah they probably used to block lucian by the way it looks then they're going to go in the muckracker okay summon rainbow bounce back muckracker effect they can discard the dark world bring out nightmare griffin and then dark world effects summon itself out Okay, and then just pass turn. So even through the D-Barrier, just ending on this huge board. Uh, we've actually seen Nesh do this a few times through D-Barrier, uh, being able just to end on a board that kind of looks like this. And then pass to draw Karma Cannon. And while this isn't like the greatest board, uh, it's good enough to live normally. A lot better against other decks too. They're going to summon Ariana. Ariana effect, go search out Lady. And then they're going to go Battle Phase, Special Summon Lady. And then activate Big Welcome, bounce Muckcracker. So what'd you add with her? Yeah, they added Lady. And then they're going to get Welcome Effect to reset itself. Ariana can then beat over the Pur Lily. They wanted the Muckcracker to be off board, otherwise they could use that to just like send Rainbow to protect their field. Okay, then they're going to set, pass, draw Dark Ruler no more. Uh, not that great here. Yeah, it's not even, like, worth activating because you have Nightmare Griffin on field to stop Lady. Activate My Friend Pearly, reveal Trap and Too Pretty, gets a Pretty to hand. And then activate Happy Memory, that's set, discard Dark Ruler, and then protect Nightmare Griffin, bring out Pearl Lily, Pearl Lily effect, go search the Trap card. And then activate Pearl Lily effect to upgrade. 
go into the happiness, activate pretty memory. And now I was going to say they have to do something here, at least at some point. Otherwise, happiness will just bounce back the karma cannon. So they're going to chain the karma cannon. Um, you know, everything gets set. Nightmare Griffin will get sent because it's a link. And they're going to flip rainbow, flip loosened. Okay. And then battle phase, just beat over Lady, beat over Ariana. So now all they have left is Welcome Labyrinth. We're going to go main phase two, link off in the Muckracker. They, oh, that got bounced back. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say there's no way they play two of this. But they summon Muckracker. And then they're thinking on the summon. They're going to go Welcome Labyrinth to summon Ariana. And then Ariana effect, go search. Sure. Go grab Stovey Torby. Wait, why did they even... Oh, to dodge Nightmare Griffin. Yeah, you have to do it now. They're going to discard Trap, bring out Nightmare Griffin. Okay, activate Pot of Prosperity. Go banish three. Look at the top three. That hits Thrust, Talons. They're going to grab Talons. Uh, talons can be used just to put the Stovey Torby back. Yeah, so they're going to go ahead, put back Stovey Torby. And then use the Trap effect to go put back two Lilies and a Pearly. Pass turn, they draw Karma Cannon. And then, let's see, that's how much defense was on the happiness. They're going to go battle phase, attack over. Um, and they're just going to let this go because, you know, they have the My Friend Pearly. Otherwise, they could have used Muckcracker to go ahead and tribute one of these instead. But adding back three sounds very good. Add back happy, add back sleepy, add back pretty. And then set Karma Cannon Pass, draw Per Lily. So we're going to go My Friend Pearly, pay 500 life points, reveal Delicious, Pretty, and Pretty. Gets a Delicious to hand, okay? Activate Sleepy Memory now, discard Happy, bring out Pearly, and then Pearly Effect, look at the top three, hits again, hits Pretty Memory, holy, just not missing off these Pearlies ever. Now they said Wow always hit. Yeah, it is crazy, they're going to go up into a Plump, attach Delicious from hand, activate Pretty Memory, chain Plump, and then, yeah, they're going to let that go. They could even banish something, but they choose not to. I was going to say, if you really wanted to, you could, like, banish Nightmare Griffin. So that way, even if they have, like, another Karma Cannon or anything to out the field, like, you still get this back during end phase. But they're going to go Plump Effect, um, send the Muckcracker to try to attach... And then they're going to chain Karma Cannon. We're going to chain Plump to attach Welcome and a Sleepy. And then that gets set. That gets sent. Normal summon out Per Lily effect. Go grab my friend Pearly. And then activate the Lily effect to upgrade into Happiness. And then their monster has 21 defense. So we will be able to get a decent amount off of this. And we still have all of our Happies in deck. Yeah, we have all of our Happies in deck. So we're going to lose 100 there. Happiness goes Search. Grab Happy Memory, uh, half the attack, I guess, and then Attack, Effect, Go Search, grab Happy Memory, uh, yeah, you could just keep having the Ariana attack, Happiness, Happiness, just Attach, Attach, they admit defeat because we get the Summon New Aura there and they have nothing against it, so moving on to the next game, we are going to see the Labyrinth player go first, we got Pearl Lily, Pretty Memory, Lightning Storm, Sleepy, and my friend Pearly. They have Welcome Labyrinth, goes in D-Barrier, Prosperity, and Karma Cannon. They're going to go Activate Pot of Prosperity to go Banish 6, and then look at the top 6. Um, okay, so like, Karma Cannon is not the choice. It's, it's probably just Stovey Tor. Ah, it could be Lord of Heavenly Prison. They do have a lot of traps in their hand. Yeah, that just, like, kind of protects from, like, Lightning Storm and stuff like that. Which we also saw in their deck game one. And we saw a Pot of Prosperity in their deck so they can get to it a lot more often. So, set four, Lord of Heavenly Prison effect, pass. They draw Rainbow. Activate Welcome Labyrinth during draw phase. So, that will go summon out Ariana. And then activate the Ariana effect and the Heavenly Prison effect. So, we are going to go ahead and just set now. And that's because we're going to set Eradicator. And this is going to grab us a Ku Clock. Okay, yep, that's fine. I mean, the problem is, is like, I don't necessarily agree with this, taking away our engine just to, like, hit them with this combo. It's not a bad combo, um, but we do have, like, D-Barrier, Karma Cannon goes in, those kind of, like, lock the opponent out, right? 
uh, activate Eradicator, Tribute, Call Spell, then they're going to Chain Sleepy, Chain Pretty, and both these can just discard those. Uh, they could have also discarded Rainbow if they wanted to get free stuff. But okay, yeah, they're also going to show them the cards in hand, which they don't have to do until after they special, but it doesn't really matter. So special summon out the Pearlies, and then new Chain Link, Pearly 1, Pearly 2. So we're going to look at the top three, grab Delicious, and then look at the top three, grab Happy Memory, Wow, both Pearlies just hitting. And then they're going to go main phase, normal summon out, Pearl Lily, Pearl Lily effect, grab the My Friend Pearly, activate My Friend Pearly, pay 500 life points, reveal field spell, field spell, and trap card, gets the trap card to hand. So we can see field spells in their deck now that we didn't see game one, so maybe they were prepared to go first for this game, like a little bit more prepared. But they're going to go per Lily Effect, try to upgrade into an XYZ. They chain D Barrier, uh, Link Off, go into the Sky Striker. They do have three spells in Grave. They're going to go Effect, try to out the Karma Cannon. They chain the Karma Cannon. Okay, activate Happy Memory now. And then discard Rainbow, bring out Pearly. Um, I'm actually not too sure why the opponent didn't go in after we D Barriered. Or maybe you just goes in instead of deburying, right? Because, like, what can they even make? Like, Lily won't be able to, uh, like, resolve its upgrade because they're trying to summon a water. Yeah, maybe that's just the way to do it. Maybe he just goes in instead of using deburier. Goes and also stops him from getting to, like, the Sky Striker link and stuff. But now they're going to go Pearly 1, Rainbow 2. Uh, go search Grapho, look at the top 3. Hits Pretty Memory there. And then go ahead, put back. Okay, activate Pretty Memory, they chain goes and match. Uh, we've gone through all three of our Pearlies, so both players just gain a thousand. And then set Delicious, pass, they draw Skill Drain, flip Ariana, beat over Pearly. And Skill Drain is cool, like these Skill Drain goes and they're not bad. It's just a problem that they have Grapha. Pass, they draw Pretty Memory. Main phase, activate My Friend Pearly, pay 500 life points, reveal Happy, Happy, Street gets happy to hand, and then pearly effect to upgrade with the XYZ technique. They're gonna chain skill drain, not allowing us to summon happy or anything. And then they're going to crash into Ariana main phase two, activate happy memory. And now they can discard Grapha, bring out per Lily, uh, Grapha effect, target the skill drain to pop it. And then activate Delicious Memory, discard Trap, go summon out Per Lily, and then Per Lily effect on summon, go search for the Trap card. Okay, we're still going up against Gozen Match, but we can make Muckcracker, Muckcracker, discard the Trap card, bring out Rainbow. And like, these Trap cards will be getting them something eventually, right? Like, they've gone through all six cats, but the Traps will let them put all six back. So... That's not bad. It's also going to give us better draws and make the My Friend Pearly a lot better. But bounce back Rainbow, summon out Grapha, activate the trap, go ahead and put back two Lilies and a Pearly. And then pass turn, they draw Tears of the Overroot, attack in the Muckcracker, uh, lose 600, send Grapha. And then they're going to set Tears of the Overroot, activate the trap card during end phase. Now we have all six of the cats in deck. We draw Per Lily for turn. That's nice. Activate my friend Pearly. Reveal Happy, Sleepy, and Sleepy. Get Sleepy to hand. And then activate Sleepy. Discard Rainbow. Bring out Per Lily. And then activate Rainbow 1, Per Lily 2. Go grab Field Spell. And then grab the Lucian. So now they have like the infinite discards forever. Tribute Summon for Lucian. Anything on Summon? Nope. So summon Grapha, bounce back, Muckcracker, discard Lucian, bring out Rainbow, or anything on that effect. And then we're trying to go Lucian effect. Okay, so they said chain in response to Muckcracker. They're going to target Rainbow and Muckcracker. Well, I guess target Muckcracker and Rainbow. Um, so that's going to go through, set the rainbow, my cracker goes, we still have to discard for it though, discard Lucian, uh, Lucian's effect, Ariana effect, and welcome effect, so welcome to set itself, they get to draw one, they draw on the lady, summon out Lucian, and then battle phase, Grapha, attack over Ariana, and then Lucian's attack direct, they just take it, they could summon lady, 
but maybe doesn't want to get punished by something. And then they draw a big welcome. Activate welcome, no response. Chain lady to go sub. So now, you know, it's starting to look a lot better for Labyrinth here. I said, I forgot you're under Eradicator. I'm supposed to know your hand. Oh, true. They were supposed to see the draw for turn, right? That's it? Yeah, that's the only thing they were supposed to see. Okay, yeah, so they were supposed to see the Lily. Yep, okay. So I drew this. Okay, I trust you. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the only card it could be. It was only one turn, right? Yep. They're going to set Terzy the Overroot from deck, bring out Lovely, and then now they're going to go Lovely to set D-Barrier, switch Lady to attack, beat over Lucian, beat over Rainbow, and then main phase two, set Big Welcome, pass, they draw a Grapha, or Rainbow Emma, and then they have to reveal it, go main phase, pay 500 for my friend Pearly, reveal Pearly, 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 gets Pearly to hand, okay. Uh, they're still dark locked. Yeah. They said sleeping emoji since the frozen one. I don't know how to do emojis. <laughs> okay, but going on to the next game now, we're going to go ahead and see Pearly go first. We got Cosmic, Pearlily, Lucient, my friend Pearly, Delicious. They have Lord of Heavenly Prison, Ariana, Ku Clock, Welcome, Prosperity. Like, did that game take a while? Is that why they said sleeping emoji? Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe it's because that game took forever. But, okay. They're going to go ahead and activate my friend Pearly. Effect. And then that will reveal three happy memory. Grab one the hand. And then normal summon Pearlily. Pearlily effect. Go grab trap card. And then activate delicious. So Nesh deciding to go first game three. After we've seen them choose to go second like every time. The last like week. They said so lucky the one of. Oh, the delicious memory? I mean, I guess. They didn't even draw, like, rainbow with the those Lucient. Uh, activate Lily effect. <clears throat> Upgrading the plump. They said, okay, dude. Hear me up. You open skill drain. Goes in. And still managed to lose. Whoa! Wait. Did they lose? No. Didn't open skill drain. Goes in game one, right? Uh, I don't remember. I know they opened D-Barrier game one. But, fair enough. So they're going to go ahead, set Cosmic, set Yeep, set Happy, and pass. They draw D-Barrier. And then they're going to activate Pot of Prosperity. You know, maybe trying to hit a Sphere Mode. I'm a Prosperity in the Evenly and End Your Life. Better do it. Better do it. Ha, huh, did not do it. Yep, grab Skill Drain. Put the rest of the cards back. So uh, now they have the skill drain D barrier technique again. They're gonna go normal summon Ariana. Ariana effect. Go search. Grab big welcome. It's probably because they also expected to go first this game. So, you know, their sphere mode and stuff may not be in. They're gonna go Ku Clock effect, discard itself. And they said, in response, chain happy, chain plump to attach, banishing the Ariana. So that way they don't have a labyrinth on field. So that way they cannot, you know, activate a trap because they have to have a labyrinth on field for the Ku Clock. Then they're going to go Lord of Heavenly Prison, Hand Effects, Set 4, End Phase, Cosmic, Banish, Skill Drain. We can go Plump Effect to Attach 2 now. Um, so Plump Effect, Attach 2, Activate Trap Card, go into New War. Uh, New War can honestly just spin every back row card back. Yep. Yeah, all three bottom of deck. Yeah, <laughs> and then they go ahead and they, they said, uh, bottom all three, skill drain, goes in virus, and still loses. Yeah, I mean, that game, there is nothing they could do. Like, I don't know, they, that deck has a hard time with, like, an, like, a lot of decks have a hard time with an established new war, but especially a deck where it's turn one plays, like, set five pass, and the new war can just sometimes trade with, like, every single card. Like, the Cosmic plus new war outed four back row cards and left them with just Lord of Heavenly Prison in hand, and then we still had, like, my friend Pearly to reveal, like, Pearl Lily and stuff like that to just try to, like, fully play again next turn. And we already have multiple bodies on field, too, so it's not, like, that hard to get to a lot. 
or at least enough to beat our opponent's like single top deck. And then seeing how long the match was, it was about an hour long, and yeah, uh, we were going to see Nesh end up winning there. Seemed like uh, maybe Nesh wasn't happy about the skill during Goes and Virus, which to be honest, I also don't know why skill during Goes and, and Virus are all in the game. Or at least all in the game at three ofs. Like, I, I still can't believe that, like, six months ago or something. Or maybe it was longer ago than that. Yeah, I think it, it definitely was longer ago than six months ago. It was a while ago. They were like, yeah, let's just put Skill Drain the three. And it's like, why? <laughs> yeah, that, that was definitely longer than six. That, that was, like, probably, like, a year and six months ago or something. But it was so dumb to put this card to three. Like, nobody wanted this card to three. It's so stupid. It's such a good card. Same with, like, Gozen, Warlords, uh, D-Barrier, Virus. Like, these cards are all just, like, really, really, really dumb. But, with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.